Create powerful automations using AI APIs with ChatGPT and Make.com. No coding involved. Free up hours from repetitive tasks. To start, navigate to Make.com and once you log in, you can start with a blank scenario or use an existing template. We're going to start with a blank scenario. Click on create a new scenario in the top right corner. Once the blank scenario page loads, add our app by clicking on this big plus icon and search for OpenAI or ChatGPT. You can use a search bar or you might see it listed already among the apps and you can choose your trigger. There are various triggers you can choose from like messaging an assistant, creating a completion or generating content, analyzing images, generating or editing images, creating a translation or transcription from audio and other kinds of triggers here. We're just going to choose create a completion to generate content and click on create a connection. Then we'll go to OpenAI and their platform to obtain an API key at platform.openai.com. The easiest way to find your API keys is probably to click on settings with this gear icon in the top right corner. And you can actually grab your organization ID here. Just double click on this area, this text, and you can paste it in this organization ID field here. And we'll go back to OpenAI, click on API keys in the left navigation menu and click on create new secret key. You can name your key, select the project you want to apply it to and change the settings for the permissions. But we're just going to leave it on all and create secret key. Copy it and keep it in a safe place because the OpenAI account won't show you your API key again. Go to our scenario screen and paste our API key here and click on save. This will create the connection. Back in the OpenAI settings, click on billing in the left navigation menu and add bill information so you can actually use the API key. So we'll click on add payment details. And for this example, I'm just going to start with $5. You can change the name of the automation by clicking on the text at the top and editing it. Now we can configure the rest of our automation in Make. So for the model, we'll choose 4O Mini. The messages section is where you'll submit your prompt or messages for other roles, which we'll cover in a few seconds here. But click on Add Message and choose your role. For this role, we'll select user. In most cases, user will be you submitting a prompt to ChatGPT. You can choose assistant. For example, if you're simulating a chat bot for a user that visits your website. So you can start off with something like, hi, welcome to this website or hi, what's your name? And the developer slash system role helps you define some system instructions for ChatGPT. For example, if you want your model to use a specific tone each time it responds, or if you want to provide context to help it guide its response. So we'll choose user first. And then for the text content, we'll use this example to create a Twitter thread speaking to marketers about leveraging AI for productivity. There's another field for image input type. If you want to submit or upload an image, you can add another message. You can change the max completion tokens. That is the number of output tokens you want ChatGPT to use. So right now it's set for just over 2000 tokens and 100 tokens is equivalent to about 75 words. So keep that in mind. You can use a larger window for the output tokens, but just remember that I'll use more of your open AI credits. If your response requires a longer output and the number of max completion tokens is set to 
a lower number, keep in mind that the automation could cut off your response. So consider these trade-offs when you're setting this field. There are also additional advanced settings like the response format. You can choose between text and JSON object. There's the predicted outputs field, which allows you to provide text if you anticipate the model generating text. So essentially you can give it a head start as to what you want to generate. This is especially useful when you want to regenerate outputs with minor changes. You can change the temperature, which will allow you to adjust the creativity. The lower the temperature, it'll choose the tokens with the highest probability. For higher temperatures, it'll create responses with more creativity. And then you can change the top P, which is the sum of the probabilities of the tokens used in your response. So the lower the top P, the less creative your responses will be. Another useful advanced setting for you might be the number of responses. So you can generate one response or multiple responses. The default, of course, is one. We'll change this to three responses. When you configure all your settings, click on save. And now you can test your module. So you can do that by right clicking on the module and either clicking on run this module only, or you can go down here at the bottom of your screen and click on run once. You notice that it saved our automation when we did that. When Make finishes running the test automation, it gives you the statuses and the results for each step. So this is the output that we submitted. You can see all the settings that you configured. This is the role and the prompt that we submitted to ChatGPT, our number of responses. And then here's the output. We can expand the result and we'll see the response that it gives us. So here's the first response. Let's just scan through this quickly. Unlocking marketer productivity with AI. Hey marketers, want to boost your productivity? Automation is a key, frees you up. Use it for data analysis, A-B testing, content creation, writing drafts, personalization, predictive analytics, collaboration tools, customer insights, bias awareness starts small. That looks pretty good. Now for the rest of our responses, since we submitted for three responses, we'll expand choices and here are our remaining. Again, we have the first response here. If we expand all of these and our second response, expand the message, expand the content. Hey marketers, let's dive in. Content creation, data analysis. Okay, so the first one mentioned A-B testing. And this one just mentions custom behavior, segment audiences, optimized campaigns, email campaigns, which wasn't mentioned in the first response. SEO optimization. Okay, A-B testing is mentioned as its own thread. And we can take a look at the third response, how marketers, content creation, social media management, and then data analysis, personalization, market research, performance targeting. All right, so there's our three responses. Now we can add another module to this automation. So you can send the data to a Google Doc, Google Sheets, Notion, Airtable, or any other app. You can create all kinds of automations with ChatGPT and Make. You can create images, analyze sentiment from user surveys, create social media posts, transcribe audio files, create product descriptions for your e-commerce site, or send automated emails and documents. If there are any automations you want me to walk through, let me know in the comments. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.